This will be the first in a series of opinion pieces videos. Unlike my studies videos where I'm kind of going over facts and trying to prove something, especially providing links, uh, source material, these opinion videos are just me talking, giving my opinion. Now I may give facts, I may give specific details to support my opinion, but for the most part this is just to demonstrate my thinking on things. I was watching a video and it inspired me to put this little bit together on why we have government. Purpose of government. So I think the purpose of government is for protection. It's the primary purpose. Government is supposed to protect the people. Now that is simplifying it to expand on that idea a little more and explain what I understand, what I think about it. Government's supposed to be of the people, at least the best form of government should be of the people. That's definitely what we intended to have, well, it's what we did have here in America in the beginning. It's gotten away from that, and I believe that is largely a failing of the modern school system, compounded by the media, their effect and influence. We've created a society that doesn't care about politics, hates it, doesn't care about history, doesn't even know what civics is. So, it, I don't know, it's almost as if 60% of the nation is out to lunch when it comes to trying to decide what to do about government. They, they kind of feel like, oh, well, they're the masters, they're in charge. When the government is supposed to be the great servant of the people, the whole purpose of it was we need protection from outside forces, especially a large nation with great resources. Human nature, sin nature, means that, and, and the desire, the love for power, the love of money, means that people who get into a position, who get in charge of another nation and have rule of it, might look at our national resources, and if we didn't have any kind of protection, if we were just a bunch of little tribes together, they come and say, hey, let's take some of those resources. Whereas, as a nation, we have agreed to have a government to protect us, hence the military and all of that. So the role of government is for protection from outside dangers, but also from inside dangers. Crimes, again, sin nature, the whole point of government in Romans 13 in the Bible is a Christian's final authority. You know, that's, that's our foundation for our, for our thinking on government. I mean, yes, it does also trace back to Genesis 6, no, no, 9. Whenever Noah gets off the flood, gets off the ark from the flood, I can talk sometimes, God explains to Noah that if man sheds blood, if he sheds man's blood, then, he, then by man is his blood to be shed. In other words, capital punishment. God values human life highly, and we should too. Romans 13 explains that God gave the sword to the government. This is why the government takes care of criminals, executes criminals, should and can do capital punishment, and why the government produces an army and goes to war to defend itself, its allies, or some great good cause. At least that is the purpose and in many ways, America has done that, certainly up until World War II. And attempts were made at the beginning of the Vietnam War and the Korean War to do that as well. But politics and government corruption got in the way, and that's a whole other story. Bottom line is, the purpose of government is for protection protect from outside dangers of a nation and within a nation to protect each other from usurping one another's rights, punishing criminals.